Okay, I just wanted to do a very quick video of the Can-Am X3 external door handle. Here is the printed out template. Uh, the big thing about this is make sure you are at 100% scale. And then uh, after you print it out, you have to cut it out around here and here and then all the way around this line cut all that out off and then cut out your handle and then uh, pop a pinhole in all seven of these little circles and then I also cut out these squares because you're going to need to uh, put something there later. But just don't dremel those out. This is the same template but flipped over for the passenger side. That's the driver's side. So there's my pinholes, seven of them, and my cutout squares because you're going to need the squares for these pieces to stick onto. You got one there and one there. And then the uh, paper drops inside those notches. That's what those two notches are for to make sure your template is in the right spot. So once you get that all drawn out with a pencil Draw it all the way around. Uh, you won't need the paper anymore. What you end up with is that and seven tiny drilled holes. If I flip this over, you'll see there are seven pinholes for now. Another thing I did was uh, the frame. I threw the handle in the frame real quick. I wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, it does have to be taken back apart, these two screws, so you can put the skin on. Um, but the handle itself, the chrome screw goes in there to hold the red handle on. The bracket up at the top goes there. And the cable screws into there. The spring snaps onto there and there. And the threaded rod drops in that hole and then snaps upward into that hole and then the cable I'll uh, use a rivet for that right there so if you flip this and then pull the handle It opens a door from the inside, and then the threaded rod will do the outside once I put that in. But this is what this ends up looking like when it's put together.